Hello. Uh, today I wanted to make a video to go along with the guide that I wrote about building an application on Glitch. Glitch is this thing that was made by Joe Spolsky's company, Fog Creek. And basically Glitch allows you to um, collaborate with other developers, build applications, and it has uh, a built-in editor. It hosts your code. I guess like GitHub in that way, um, but it also allows you to edit and run your applications, I guess in real in real time. Um, and it's got um, you know built-in source control console and and everything like that. Today we're going to build um, a backend API. We're going to build a simple notes application. So it has it will have a an endpoint for getting notes. Um, that is for, for getting a list of notes, um, an endpoint for getting um, a single note back, one for creating a new note, and one for deleting a note. This is the uh, Glitch homepage UI, and you can, um, you can res if you've used it before, you can resume coding, and you can, you can just carry on from the application that you left off from. Um, but but let's create a new a new project. Um, so for this, I'm going to use the Hello SQLite template. Um, it basically comes with uh, a simple Node application running Express.js and a SQLite database. And so let's go ahead and click that. And you can see that it gives us some things out of the box, I guess. Um, we have a readme. Um, we've got a package.json file for um, listing dependencies and configuration about the project. Um, Server.js, which is basically where all of the database logic is, um, the routes, router endpoints. Um, there's a listener which actually runs the application. Um, we've got um, some environment variables. We're not we're not using any right now. Um, there's an index page. So this this pre-built application um, comes with a UI, which we won't really need because this is just going to be a backend API. Um, some CSS to go along with the index page, and there's some client-side JavaScript, I guess, for um, manipulating the UI, which, like I said, we don't need. We can actually view this application by clicking up here, show, and then show in a new window. So this is the, the starter app that Glitch has built for us. Now, as I said, uh, we don't need this, this front-end UI, so I'm going to start deleting some of that. So the first thing to get rid of is probably public, I can get rid of public client JS. And I can get rid of um, style.css as well. Um, okay. And then so now we have this this index page, and like I said, we don't we don't really need any front end UI, but I think instead we can we can reuse this and turn it into a an API a docs page. So I think I'm going to um, get rid of these comments. And I'm going to get rid of the, um, well, actually, I'll get rid of the glitch button. Uh, oops. Yeah. Uh, the, the footer, let's change that um, to, to myself. So I can say uh, created by, Ahref, 
Um, let's say I'll, I'll use my Twitter. Uh, Twitter. There we go. And let's say created by Tom Cadwell. Okay, and then, yeah, so I think I'll delete everything inside main. And we'll just have a, like a simple list of endpoints. Um, nothing fancy here. So we have a get notes endpoint. We have a an endpoint for returning a single note. We have uh, oh, let's say we have a post. So this is for creating a a new note, and we have a an endpoint for deleting a specific note. Okay, and then for the header, I'm going to replace this with uh, notes API. Uh, actually, notes app backend API and then we need to get rid of some of these some of these imports um, so we don't need this because we deleted that file don't need this um, I think the we can probably be probably not worry about a lot of these so I think I'll um we'll keep the title um let's call it notes app backend api docs and i think i'm going to yeah so i'll get rid of the description um all of this and i'll just keep the favicon so let's um let's view this now um Yep, so you can see the the API documentation here. Um, so that's all working. Um, so now what I'd like to do is build this app driven by tests. So I think I'd like to use Mocha, Chai, and Chai HTTP. Mocha is a JavaScript test framework. Uh, Chai is an assertion framework, so it gives us some uh, some features and um, some nice syntax for making assertions. So you can do things like one should be equal to one, things like that. And then Chai HTTP will allow me to to make HTTP calls uh, or to, to test them easily. So to install these, I'm going to go to the package JSON. Um, I'm going to open a new key here and um, I'm going to call it um, I'm going to use sorry dev dependencies um, so these are this is, these are just like the dependencies section above only only they um, should not be used for production so they're only used for for um, testing and development environments so we need um, mocker Um, yeah, so let's do Mocha and it is version 6.1.4 and then we've got Chai looks like it's 4.2 yeah Uh, 4.2.0, yep. Yeah. And chai, actually, that's, I think it's chai HTTP. Yep. Yeah. Um, and 
That is, looks like it's 4.3. Point three point zero. Okay, uh, now what's happening is you can see in the corner there that there's kind of an indicator saying that the glitch is doing something. Behind the scenes, it's it's running essentially npm install. Um, I think it might be using a different um, package manager, but essentially it's installing these dependencies. Uh, so we don't need to worry about. Um, running a command to update the project those those three new dependencies are essentially installed now which is nice and then you can see here that we have a, a script for running the server uh, but i can also i also need to add one for running the tests so i have a test script and i'm going to add um, mocha so this will call my my new test framework. So now, if I go into tools and then logs, um, there's a there's a console button here. And so now I've got shell access for the server that my application is running on. And if I run npm test. So you can see that it it actually ran it ran mocha um, but there were no no test files were found which makes sense because it's a new project and you know i haven't written any any tests yet in the next video i'll build out the tests so please continue watching